forget to like and subscribe. <coughs> Alright, so today we're going to be changing out the side marker lights on my 300. Um, I don't know if y'all had seen the short or anything like that. Get out of here. What's up, nigga? I already changed the other two out the other day. I just figured I might as well get a quick video for y'all um, doing it. And this one had water in it, and then it didn't. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to do this and then go wash the car. This is unacceptable. It doesn't even look that bad. Hold on. There it is. Yeah, that's bad. Um, yeah. So, um, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay. So these are the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need whatever size hex key this is. I honestly forgot. You need a 10 millimeter, and then the lights, obviously. Um, yeah. So we're gonna. I think this is for the back. And then, yeah, this has to be the front. So um, I'll show y'all. Oh, and then you're gonna want like. I use scissors, but some people just use like little pliers or whatever. So hold on, give me two seconds. All right, got the other stuff. I use, I honestly been wearing gloves because at work I've been getting cuts on my fingers and stuff. So having to pull the bumper and everything like that hurts. So, and then I use these to take out the fender liner bolt thing. So I'll see y'all in just a second when we're over there at the car. I also forgot that you need to turn the wheel. So here's a quick little start. So you wanna turn the wheel. Did I do that right? Yeah. Did I do that right? Yeah, of course I did. Cause I don't do things wrong here. All right guys, so first things first, you're gonna get these four bolts off, the little, I don't know what they call it, but honestly, I don't know what you're really, I know what you're supposed to use for them, but I don't think I have such a tool. So I just use kitchen scissors. You know, it's a quick look. It's one, it's because I'm doing this with one hand. Like, put that out of the Four. You're able to pull this fender liner back. It's very hard with these stupid fat gloves on. So you're gonna be able to pull this back and you're gonna need to get the fender liner from, from back there. And then you got a bolt right here. Why does it feel so stiff? Hold on, y'all. All right, that's good enough now. So what you wanna do, grab your 10 millimeter and then you see the little bolt right here. You're gonna wanna take this out and I'll see y'all when I get it out. gonna have to pull this right it's gonna make a loud noise like god I'm moving the car <laughs> just that strong I feel like I'm missing something there it is all right that's off and I cannot record how I'm gonna do it well I can but like I'm not gonna be able to like keep y'all with me but I'll show you what y'all need to do so now you want to get your your hex key no idea what size this is, I just, I'll, I'll just... I'll, um, mention it in the video, like, when I find out. But, just so y'all don't see stupid gloves. There we go. So what y'all need to do, I'm just gonna say, got the bumper back, right? So now, there's gonna be, there's something that needs to be connected from down here and it's not and that's stressing me out but you're gonna want to take these out and then right here there's gonna be one one right here one screw and there's another one you're gonna want to take those out and then unplug the light and then on one of them on the back one um we took it out whole bunch of water poured out of it so right now we're gonna we're gonna like enable the screw in it and then we'll put it in.
All right, y'all, so got the two screws out. So now this is loose and there's gonna be a little tab you need to what is it, push down on. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Push down on it and then you to just pull it out. Right. There we go. All right, so it's out. This is the thing. No idea if there's any water left in it. Guess not. Um, but with the new one, like I said, we're gonna screw the screws in all the way. Make sure they um, like, Jesus. <laughs> there's no way for any other water to get in. Oh, don't mind that, that's my uh, chapstick. Y'all need it. I'm a, honestly, I'm about to put y'all on right now. Y'all, this stuff smells so good. It like, this cocoa butter, like it, it's it's amazing. Like, lips stay moisturized for hours. Get it. All right, so, I'm gonna be, we're gonna take this off, these are the new ones. So you can already see the difference. There's really like nothing you can see in it. And it's only one bowl as to two or like one strip of lights this one has two um i'm like scared i'm gonna drop it <laughs> sorry y'all didn't get to witness that but yes it's all camera whatever but yeah these are the new ones this is one instead of the two y'all can see it's just like one it's filthy two it's burned out but like they actually came back on which is weird but they've been flickering i don't know if y'all can see the water in it. let's focus it. yeah whatever oh wait huh yeah there it is see the water in it but so that's what we're gonna prevent with this we're gonna screw the screws all the way in and then we're gonna put them in When I screw them in, obviously, they're not gonna go. Then I, I got butterfingers this morning, I'm sorry. Um, they're, it's gonna try not to go straight, but like, the goal is to get it in, shoot, to get it in as straight as possible, and then use one of the hex keys to, or use the hex key, because there ain't one of them, to, um, twist it all the way in so it'll actually go in when I'm trying to um, put it in the car. I don't know if y'all can tell. I need to dye my hair again. My hair's a mess. I've had a do-rag on in all my videos for the last month. I need to get my hair done. Just, I just need a makeover. Makeover is kind of crazy. But y'all know what I mean. I'm still on this first screw, by the way. <laughs> get it screw it this is why you do it beforehand i feel like companies should already do that but you know because it was like that on my other ones too and i'm looking feeling like this could be the reason why water was getting in them because like i mean like if it wasn't properly enabled and whatever i don't even know if enables the words to use but if it wasn't done correctly like that, that's how it's supposed to look. Flat, you know, all the way in. It's hot, all that friction. But <laughs> we're gonna untake it out. Untake it out. We're gonna take it out. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like companies should do that beforehand so there is no issue. Because Loki, I feel like this probably was why water was getting in my, my lights. And I wish I took this, like, time to do it on my old lights. Well, not really, because I look like these ones more than the old ones. Just because of the one strip. They're not as bright anymore. But, like, I, I don't necessarily need it bright. But, you know, it's kind of nice. Like, I liked it. And this is like 
Oh, this is the second time I've had to do this project because of the water burning out. So I did the other ones about what, three weeks ago? I ain't had the car for long. I got, okay, so look, when I bought the car, I think the day after I got it, um, the day after I got it, I ordered my trunk lip and my roof wing. Ordered those right off the bat, right? Because I still have some leftover money. And I ordered those. And then, um, when did I order these lights? I think, I want to say I ordered these lights like a week after I had the car, right? Just took them a minute to get here. Wait, maybe. Because my first three things I did were the little dials on the interior to match the, um, the gauge cluster. And then, um, you know, these are just not going in. I'm scared I'm gonna strip this thing. Well, of course I'm not, but like, but y'all know what I'm saying? Like, um, these, I only did four things to the car. Next thing I need to do is window tint. I wanna keep these wheels forever, but if there's a way to like, get all that curb rash all of it, off of it, a hundred percent do that. But that, um, there we go. I'm gonna do window tint. I want to push these wheels out, um, and lower the car a little. Other than that, like, oh shoot, no shot. Oh. No. I think the bolt stripped in the in the top. Shame to shame. But I really do need it to go all the way in. So that's what we're gonna be. I'll just make sure this is the bottom bolt. So now, I'm just gonna flip it this way. Now we're just gonna have to plug it in here, put the bolts in the top and the bottom, and then we'll either move to the back or we'll see if it works. Well, I don't know it'll work because it's me doing it, of course. But yeah, give me two seconds. All right, guys, it's in. Um, kind of. It's not that bad. It's just a little flex, but that stupid bolt was giving me problems. So it is what it is. So what you wanna do now is. Wait, right? Yeah. All right. Push that back in place. It really doesn't look like it, but it is. It's just. Uh, then you want to get that fender liner back in. I probably should have did that first. <sighs> yeah. Why didn't y'all tell me to do that? Get that bolt in. All right, got that screw back in. You're gonna want to put the, the fender liner bolts back in, and then that's it for the first, for this one. Got my Chris fix real quick. Out with the old and in with the new. All right, y'all, we're, we're back um, a, a week and a half later after I put the lights in. Um, I was waiting for it to become nighttime, and um, it's been nighttime a couple times now, and I still haven't done it, so we're just gonna. So it's been about a week. Um, sorry about the glare on the cameras, it was just dirty and I'm greasy. I just got back from work. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Everything's holding up, unlike the other lights. It's only wet because it was raining today, but. 
no water dumping out of them like the other ones, which is good. So, yeah, I'm out. All right, y'all, here's a video. I've been rolling at night with the lights.